Alicia Cortez doesn't like to think about it. It was bad, very bad. A stretch of time, 12 long days in April, she can only describe as hellacious. It made me feel like, oh my God, this is the worst I've ever passed in my life. <laughs> Plumbing problems meant no water, no sewage at her west side home. My husband, I could, like he's getting dementia. I couldn't go and stay somewhere and I'd take him, he wouldn't go, you know. Alicia, who's 74 and living on a fixed income, couldn't afford the hundreds in pipe repairs. Barely able to get around on her wheelchair, life quickly became unbearable. The basic necessities, it was bad, terrible. But we, we had to deal with it. No water for laundry, no water for cooking and cleaning dishes, no sewage for flushing the toilet. We didn't know what to do. Just when all hope was lost, in comes her 83-year-old neighbor to provide the kind of support you just don't forget. Henrietta LaGrange is coming over to Alicia's house to check in on her. She doesn't know I'm hiding inside. Well, hello there. Are you Henrietta? Henrietta Ryan Wolf from Fox SA. It is so good to see you. My goodness, I have heard some things about you and what you have done for Alicia, but I don't want to tell you what you mean to her. I want her to tell you. Come on over here. I called my friend Ryan and I explained everything to him. And I just wanted to thank you from the bottom of my heart for everything you've done for us. I really appreciate you and you're now my family. Alicia calls her neighbor a godsend. She did their laundry. She cooked them food. She even collected their human waste from this portable toilet, an embarrassing gesture Henrietta insisted on doing. Henrietta, you know that. And I love you with all my heart and I thank you for all your hard work that you did. And I really love and care about you, Henrietta. Thank you for everything. How do you feel right now? Emotionally, I'm overwhelmed because I told Alicia, I said, if you're in need, I want to be the first one there for you. You said that? Yes, and I think I have been. We have a program on Fox SA called Cash for Kindness, and we reward people who do things without expecting anything in return. And Alicia has proven that what you have done epitomizes what this program is all about. Put your hand out for me. I've got a reward for you. Are you ready? <laughs> 100, 200, 300, 400, 500. It's not enough words in the dictionary to express the emotion overcome to me and the kindness by Ryan Wolf. But this is a team effort, and hiding behind that camera phone is Missy Davis with Veteran Air. They sponsor Cash for Kindness. Alicia at Veteran Air. We love our military, we love our veterans, but we also love our seniors. And hearing your story with you and Henrietta, I cannot imagine what you must have gone through in, the la in those 12 days. Veteran Air also has a reward. This is to help repay Alicia for those pipe repairs. 100. Oh my God. 200. Oh. 300. 400 and 500. Oh my God. <laughs> With the water back on and compassion now flowing through the home, one thing is clear, it pays to be kind. <laughs> <laughs>